Hello everyone, we are going to talk about leadership position in Isaac. The reason we deliver this topic is because we realize that it is something um, we are constantly facing in these few years. So hopefully through this session, you are able to understand the importance of pipeline and spark some of your interests in moving to the next position. So these are the contents we are going to talk about. First of all, I will let you all see the reality of pipeline we are facing right now and how does it link to our business model of Isaac. Knowing that we are a leadership development organization, how we can play a role in leadership uh, position at the same time answering some of your queries that you might be having. For example, the benefits of going into next leadership position and some concerns that you might be having. At last, we are going to talk about how to plan your career path, for example, how to build your skills and what are the opportunities that we have. So here are some things that we always face throughout the years. For example, um, plans could be finalized before the term starts, the implementation of strategies due to member lay onboarding, um, not enough knowledge to carry out operations, uh, I don't understand my team well before we carry out operations and ultimately my vision and goal couldn't be achieved at the end of the day because of all the things uh, measured above. So this is the reality timeline that we always face. We only elect the LCP by November and for LCVP uh, is December, meaning that we only have one month to plan for the year before the term starts on February. And seeing our MT only got elected by February, which should be the time where we start the operation instead of onboarding. So all this late uh, election contributes to the knowledge of goals and visions, which ultimately couldn't be able to achieve what you want in your term. So this is the ideal timeline whereby LCP should be elected by October and LCVP should be elected by November. This actually gives ample amount of time to plan for the whole year before starting the term of February. Also, uh, MT should be elected by December so that they can receive enough knowledge and skills before they start their operation. So uh, with this timeline, plan will be finalized and so we move into implementation with sufficient manpower and knowledge at the start of the term. Also, you can get enough time to understand and get along with the team before you even start your operation. One fact I'd like to uh, put it out as our IZ business model, which is uh, we change our blood every year. So every year, the executive board and management team changes to new blood. Uh, yeah, sometimes with the exception of people who return, but uh, we are not like the companies out there, which uh, people can be in the same position for more than 10 years. And our people come and go in a very fast rate, hence we need new blood to replace for the position. So that's why we constantly need people to take up leadership role in the organization. So what if we don't have people going for higher role? Maybe the leader will find a proxy from a less experienced member and this may affect the quality of results because he or she is not familiar with the operation yet. And in some cases, for example, there's no one running for VP. OJ position, this could lead to the department being closed down in the end, which may affect the impact that we should be creating. This also means that the hard work from predecessor, like for example for OGV, a department will be gone as well. So sometimes the leader will be forced to merge departments, which in turn will affect the workload of the person in charge and uh, cause he or she to be burned out as well. So looking into the case where the leader is forced to close down the department due to no applicant, for example, OGV has to be closed down, are we still delivering impact to the world? Are we moving towards Isaac vision whereby we are not uh, allowing cross-cultural exchanges to happen anymore? So these are some questions for you to ponder and constantly remind yourself that we are Isaac and we are striving to achieve peace and fulfillment of humankind's potential. And we 
always claim that uh, we are a leadership development organization where our aim is to ensure everyone can be the best version of themselves. Everyone plays a role in ensuring uh, this vision to be achieved. So for example, for team leaders, your role is to empower your team member to be constantly developing themselves and take a leadership position. And for team members, remember your purpose of joining this organization and what would you like to get from here. Is your current role able to provide all the learnings that you would like to get? By then, I hope everyone is able to understand the importance of pipeline and how does it link back to our vision. Just now. So now I'm talking about like, I think you all kind of like in this impression, right? Like, okay, we understand like how I said really creating an impact to the to our LC, to the entity itself, and why does we need to uh, why we really need a leader every year to ensure that the impact we are creating peace and fulfillment of human capital potential are able to be sustained in the lc itself as well but you have this question also like should i apply for higher position so normally when i'm asking a uh, member director vp or even when i'm asking lcp mates like do you want to apply for higher position normally this is one of the answer we will listen right you are so busy and i'm not ready to be part of it so the thing I want to say, yes, being uh, when you're going for, when you stay in ISAC, definitely it would be busy because you need to spare some time of your 24 hours, out of your 24 hours to do ISAC operation, right? But be honest, this is the thing that it will happen throughout our whole life, right? Just be honest. First scenario, we need to find a balance between our relationship and our, the things that we're passionate in doing. If today you're spending all your time with your partners, but you're not do, uh, playing games, you'll feel hard, right? Because you like to play a game. Or even if you put so many time playing game, but you didn't spend some time with your uh, with your partners, then how would they think? Next thing, family and friends. When we come back to hometown, definitely we want to spend some time to find our uh, friends, right? So long time didn't meet that we want to spend some time with them. But also we need to know that we need to spend some time with our family as well. So we need to find a balance in between as well. So last thing, I said an other priority. So in this other priority, because everyone has different priority, so I'll put academic in this example. Of course, we need to find a balance between I said academic, right? Because we are students, that is our role to study, to get, I mean, to get a result that is uh, certified for you. You, you yourself, you study for you, right? You're not study for anyone, right? So we need to find balance in between both of it. So actually, the concept is just like when we're doing investment how much you choose to invest in then you will get back what you deserve and talking about uh, investment people will think about diversification right so no uh, there, uh in a simple way what means diversification is like you don't put all of your egg in one basket but when talking about diversification it's also about resource investment you are the you yourself you have 24 hours and you know how much energy you have in your life then how you choose to invest it Right. If today you choose to invest into all things, do you think you can able to balance it? Just like the egg and the basket. If today you put your, you have 100 eggs, and then you put 100 eggs into uh, maybe 100 basket. Are you able to carry the 100 basket by you yourself? And you will ask me, then is it even possible to balance between Isaac and academic? So I will tell you the answer is yes. So I have two examples. So the first, uh, first one is the LCP for Isaac and JB. His name is BPK, and yes, this is his current CGP now. And for information, that time when we have MCP election, and the next day he have a exam in JB, but he still choose to travel from JB to KL to attend the MCP election and then go back to exam for the next day. Because we, he know that he already know MCP election day, so he just need to prepare himself earlier to study the other uh, the, the, the subject. Um, in bef before MCP election, so that he can prepare himself. Another example, our LCP from Isaac Kalabalis for term 2017. So he get first class, first class honor uh, graduate from his course. By these two example, I think it's convincing enough. And maybe you have this thought. Yes, they are strong, but it doesn't mean that I can do exactly like what they do, right? So yes, you may be right. Maybe they have their own way of talent in the in studying. I'm not sure about that. But before you say that you can't do, have you really tried to manage yourself? 
resource management is also the self-management skill that we being we have been delivered all the time in Isaac. Time management, focus management, priority management, etc. Did you implement it in your life? So if you remember, this is the four leadership qualities that how we define leaders. And actually it's aligned with the with the with, with our life in ISA as well. In ISA, we really need to know what is our passion, what is our strength, that we focus on it because that is the thing that uh, it will give us the it will maximize our benefits, right? If today you are only working in something that you don't like, then I don't think that you will get a good experience or a good outcome. Huh? World citizen, do you believe in your ability to make a difference in the world? Are you enjoying taking responsibility to improve the world? Empowering others. If you think being a team leader, you need to do all the stuff by yourself, then I can tell you you are wrong. Because by empowering others, you are, you are the one who develops and empower other people together with you, engaging with you to achieve the goal. And last thing, solution oriented. If you find out your life is getting a bit messy or a bit uncertainty, are you sowing the solution oriented? Are you able to adapt? and being resilient enough in the challenging environment. So yes, can you see, it's actually all related to our real life and it's actually related to our question. It's, in, it's related to our concern as well. So that's why I still choose to stay in ISAC because I really feel this for leadership quality is the thing I want. And I challenge you to really review yourself. And last thing is you will say, okay, what the doctor say is right, but I want to finish my term first, okay? After I finish, only I go and think about it. But the thing I want to tell you is no. Because if you only wait until you end up only think about your future, then this will be your life. And is this the life you want? Because we are not puppet. We do not let others to control our life, but we control ourselves. We cannot be so reactive until the election booklet comes out, people ask us only go and apply. Right, so just talk with yourself and face it. You decide where you want to go. If you really feel that you want to apply for LCP, LCP director, or other kind of position, then just plan for it. Because why? In PDP, we ask about your career plan, right? After graduate, what you want to do? And I say, what is your plan? Because you just imagine your life as a journey. You need to think about it. What are your plans in ISAC and what is your future career path, career plan? Because ISAC will never be your, be your destination. ISAC is either like a journey or a pathway you choose to go to your future, right? Because ISAC, we only, you only can be in ISAC until 30 years old. Really, ISAC is not your destination. It will be your final destination, but it's part of your journey to go to your destination. So you need to know where you are now and then what you need to do to get to your own the destination you're looking for. So if your destination is to be LCP, then you know who you where you are now. You are a member, you are a director, LCVP. What are the skills, what are the uh, competencies you are having now? And then in I said we have so much of opportunity for you to develop yourself, to prepare yourself to pick up the role that you want in your future. For example, if you think that you are lacking of facilitation skill, you're not sure if you're being an LCP, can you facilitate your LC member experience? Then you know that you need to pick up facilitation experience. Or you need to be an EST to see uh, a bigger picture from national side and so on. So I just want you to imagine if we really able to develop every young person here, how would the world look like? So this is the thing that drives us to shape leaders. It's also a thing that drives us, regardless you will go for high position or not. As a team leader, it's our responsibility to build you to be a team leader. And the choice is still on your own hands, whether you want to go and develop more leaders like your team leader or not. I hope I help you to see better the reality of the career path in ISAC, the leadership position we have in ISAC, and then what you need to do now to prepare yourself to pick up the leadership opportunity. And I hope that we are really able to shape more and more leaders in this world.